Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, it's another fun one. I'm going to show you the best way to organize your files for video editing. I'm not going to waste any time, I'm just going to jump right on into it. Okay, so here we are on my very empty desktop. I'm basically just going to walk you through how I set up my own file structure for video editing. Hopefully, from this you'll get an idea of how you can implement it in your own video editing workflow. I know everyone will be using various different cameras, computers and software, but the basic principle of having an organized system in place can be translated to whatever it is you're using. The best thing is, once you've set up this file, you can copy it each time you start a new project to save you having to set it up each time you work on something new. Okay, so first things first. The main file, I like to call it the reverse date underscore the project name. So as an example, we're in 2020, 06 for June, 10, underscore, and for this, I'm just gonna call it example. Now, the first thing I set up within here is the project files. I use various different software for various different things, so I like to keep a separate file in here for each one of those. Now, my main editing software is Premiere, so I set up one for this. I also like to keep another one for Photoshop, I do a fair amount of work in After Effects from time to time, so I always like to keep one of these in here. And I do a lot of my audio editing in Audition, so I also have one of these in here. Now, even if I don't use After Effects, Photoshop or Audition in a particular project, I still keep these in here because it's not adding to the size of the file really. Now, next up is the media file. In here, I keep everything from audio, music, graphics, etc. So first things first, I have my main video files, which I just call rushes. So within my rushes folder, I tend to keep this blank. And then depending on the project, I will add in a separate folder for whatever camera it is I'm using. If it's a Sony one, I'll add a Sony one, Canon, etc., GoPro. But I don't keep these in within the blank project that I copy and paste if that makes sense. Then I have my audio, which is anything I record on a separate audio recorder. Then I have my music, which is any licensed music I've downloaded. Then I have my graphics, which is any graphics I've created or been sent to use. And then finally in here, I have photos. Now these are photos that I've taken usually. So in here, I have a separate raw folder. And then I have another folder for exports. And then within the exports folder, I have a web folder and a high res JPEG folder. And sometimes I also have a print folder, but not always. The third file I set up is production documents. Now in this folder is where anything related to the project document wise goes, as the name suggests. So. I don't always use this. Um, I just like to keep it in here just in case to yeah, it keeps things organized. So first up, I have scripts. Then I have storyboards. I have one for shot lists. And then I just have a generic other folder because, you know, with projects, you get all sorts of things sometimes. So I just like to have this just to dump that stuff in. And finally, I have my exports folder. Within my exports folder, I have master. So this is where I put the master clips of finished projects. These are usually exported in ProRes HQ422 or you know, just some sort of ProRes. Then I have a web export folder. This is where I put my H.264 files for YouTube, Vimeo, etc. And finally, I have a social media file. This is where I put any cutouts, short clips that are either square, portrait, Instagram stories, you know, short things that uh, don't go into the full web folder. And yeah, that's basically it. As I mentioned, obviously you can tailor this to suit your need. Hopefully this all makes sense and you've got some sort of idea of how you can set up something like this for your own projects. Now, as I mentioned, the idea is that once you've got it all set up, you can just rename it to blank project and then when you come to start a new project, you can just copy and paste this one and rename it to whatever it is you're doing. And it will just save you having to set it up each time. And yeah, it's saved me so much time. I can't even, I don't even know. 
As always, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them down below in the comments. If you want to see more tip videos like this or on filmmaking in general, you can subscribe to my channel below or by clicking one of the links on screen somewhere. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.